we use the timeline method to convert to depth a single horizon that reflects a constant age or stratigraphic unit. This method requires more than one time depth data point for each horizon of interest so that we can statistically define a time depth function. In this method we use input data from a variety of sources to calculate an average velocity curve for a particular horizon. So how do we use the timeline method? First, we must be able to define a timeline function. Let's go back to our seismic section and consider the deeper horizon. We know that at shot point 1689, the seismic reflection time of 1.575 seconds at the deep horizon correlates to a well depth of 5,220 feet. Now, let's assume that we have a second well, this one at shot point 1737. Here, we correlate a seismic time of 1.600 seconds to a well depth of 5,291 feet. Now, using the timeline method, what would the depth to the top of the potential pay be at shot point 1593? To calculate the depth, first we plot the two data points. 5,220 feet at 1.575 seconds and 5,291 feet at 1.600 seconds. We define the timeline by statistically fitting a curve to the time depth data, in this case, a straight line. On the seismic section, we measure the time to the interpreted horizon at shot point 1593 as 1.650 seconds. Using the timeline graph, we plot the time of 1.650 seconds and determine the corresponding depth to be 5,433 feet. The strength of the timeline method is that it minimizes or eliminates misties between well data and seismic data. The method, however, is not reliable if the time contour map is complex or is based on reflections that are too deep. It is also inaccurate where compaction has a major influence on the velocity values. And we should not use this method to convert time to depth over a large area. This timeline method is most reliable when converting shallow seismic reflections in local areas. When using this method to correlate seismic times to well data, we must be aware of possible time differentials between the well and seismic data sets. This timeline plot shows well depths versus travel times measured from 10 check shot surveys, and these same depths versus travel times measured on seismic sections. The depths, check shot times, and seismic times are all for the same horizon. By comparing the two time depth curves, we can see that the two curves differ by a constant shift in time. This differential is called the time lag or seismic delay and is caused by electronic delays within the recording system. In this example, the seismic delay is equal to 21 milliseconds. So if we subtract 21 milliseconds from each seismic time, the two curves will be equal and the seismic times will more closely convert to the well depths.